Number one means you're always on top. You're, you're, you're number one radio. You're, you're on the number one. Number one. Yeah, this is CJ Joe out to the Far East. Big up, quick chat on Irie Vib 95 FM radio. CJ Joe is uh, originally Crazy Joe back in the days because I was like a uh, young root boy, you know, kind of on the street, and, you know. But as, as I grew and matured in life and I found Ja, I became conscious and cool. So it's the mix, like the yin and the yang, the balance, you know? So I'm the balance of CJ, Crazy Joe, Conscious, Cool, all in the mix. Joe is, um, I added that because there's a lot of CJs in the world. So to make it one of a kind, CJ Joe, and then adding Far East, you know? Far East. Originally, I was in Tokyo in my school days, but also in Yokohama. And that's my original um, place and Tokyo, you know. So. Um, my family doesn't sing. Uh, more, of, my father was a karate master of, of one of the big uh, godfathers, Oyama Mastatsu. And my mother was doing some international um, flying around job uh, back in the days so you know um, they're not really associated to music and especially black music and especially reggae music from Jamaica so you can imagine that it was a different energy for them um, I started around high school in 1991 I went to um, different kinds of schools. I uh, started out with Japanese school in elementary, but uh, gradually I was educated in international American school in Japan. So that's why I speak English. And one of the schools I went to um, was like the same uh, era and same classmates of um, a big sound system called Mighty Crown and I was originally there I, I wouldn't really want to expose that history of me but that's the truth and that's where I started and we all were in a sound system so I started to I was more like a DJ you know ragamuffin style and then uh, I converted to become a singer after I I, I left the school and I um, switched my school to back to Tokyo It's been about 29, 30 years now in the business and I've been doing all this in my life basically from my teenage years to 20s to 30s and I've, you know, done, become this person in Japan known as a reggae singer and now I go out of Japan and I do my thing in, out here in Europe or in, in um, back in the days in America and Canada, Jamaica, you know, but uh, yeah, so that's basically, you know, how I got into um, singing reggae, but originally I was into hip hop because back in the days there wasn't much of the information because it's 1991. So that's more than what that's like 30 years ago so the scene was back in the days you know um i'm kind of old school and new school at the same time because i'm still fresh out here but uh i've been doing this for uh, a while now what motivates me you know everything i write is a situation and only that um, from that situation I could write about um, my message, which is my experience. So um, mainly right now I'm doing my thing outside, you know, in the world is because if I sing in English and Patois, then I must be living the reality in 
other countries too because um you know every nation every country has a different reality but basically the west and the east is a little different so the struggles you would have in the west would be different from the east side so the east and the west have different um you know suffer you know like sufferation um but uh, it's kind of hard to explain but um when i live the life over here there's struggles that i could write about and uplift the people not from my race but as as a reggae artist as a rasta and as a conscious artist to have a message to uplift the people and heal them and motivate them so all of my lyrics is uh experience only experience and you know um i think that that experience tells everything in the song my biggest inspiration of course in reggae is um Bob Marley, Dennis Brown, you know, and the way I sing and my mental is very influenced by um the great Garnet Silk. So I have that soulful um silky energy in me when I sing some high keys. Yeah, that's that's my style, you know, but I'm original, so I have my different ways of writing songs and flows and I don't think nobody has my flow in the world in in this genre because I'm original. I write my songs. I write all my songs. The melody line, the lyrics, um producers would uh make the music, background music and bands of course, but uh basically I write my own songs. So it's 100% my vision, my message and you know we don't know you know cj jo faris you know every time uh, i recorded for uh, a couple um labels so far um if i go way back in my history in japan i've i've already done the the major route too you know i recorded for um many labels in the indie scene um I've I've recorded for major labels like Sony um Sony Japan I've gone to the majors to a lot of the in there but out here um my recent ones would be like um the Italian label from Italy Big Up Grizzly um Dark Room Entertainment Ghana um House of Rhythm from Austria, you know, with uh Anthony Anthony B's crew and um I'm sure there's many more that I will be recording in the future but um I I usually come with my own thing which is Far East Soja music. So a lot of my singles out there are from my label um my independent label which uh I have people to help me do what I do in this label but uh, it's basically for our soul and music How many songs did I record <laughs> I've recorded I've been recording for like you know over 25 years now so I don't know how many I've recorded countless recordings but I can say in the international scene I've been recording I have about you know like I definitely have an album but I'm not releasing it yet because I want to choose the best ones and uh I got like 18 19 songs already um and many of them are out there as a single so I'm already good on that and the the promotion the production is you know like i promote myself a lot there's other people who help me um with the prs um i have people who help me underground most of it um and uh, booking agencies like uh jamission big up rastarik dark room uh touch road from before but uh yeah i basically have a lot of people 
who been helping me the couple of years now on the international scene and uh, try to promote my music and all the DJs in, in the world um, that are helping me to promote my music. So big up and give thanks, much love. Uh, I performed, of course, in the Far East, in Japan, Philippines, Indonesia, um, Thailand. Um, now I'm a, and years back, I was performing in America and Canada. Um, I performed a couple of times in Jamaica. I hope I can do that now in this time again. But um, yeah, I've been I've been traveling a lot in my life, so you know any place I reach. I will perform. So basically, the only places I haven't gone to perform is like Africa, which I want to go soon, uh, Latin America. Um, otherwise, if I hit those places, I've been, I've, I've performed all over the world, the four corners. So, you know, um, any promoters out there that when this Corona is finished, um, please invite me to perform and I will be more than willing yeah I performed in uh, the recent big show was like France here in Amsterdam but yeah I, I got I got a really nice um, reaction from um, France Paris at the new morning that was a big debut of a real showcase with a, the full band and you could check me on the uh, my hope my uh, website i have it posted and that was a big show and a lot of pressure but you know me mash it up you know so definitely a good forward there back in the days when i was younger i had the opportunity to open up for um the big legendary Buju, uh, Glenn Washington, like, you know, it can be local or the concert style or the festival, but I've, I've done that route and I had a good reaction, but it was, you know, less experienced back then, but I did, I did mush up, I get, I get, a, I got a forward, so that was definitely a good um, experience that lead, lead me to become who I am today. Two nineteen was the year where I got a lot of uh, recognition. Um, my name went out. I opened up, you know, for Johnny Osborne. You know, I had many releases, like I don't know about six or seven releases that year, last year, and I shot many videos that were success and uh, good reaction. So, two nineteen was the year where I went up, way up, but. You know, everybody knows this time is not easy for artists and musicians, so we all have to suffer because, you know, the opportunity is not there at the moment for bookings, for live shows and performances. So, you know, it's a tough year this year, but, you know, last year was definitely, I got a lot of media, social media um, exposures, and, you know, a lot of people started to check me out on the radio. So everything came out as you know expected and it was for me it was a good success of stepping up you know not the big success but good enough to uh, be on the levels you know to be recognized and ready for 220 and uh, I've been working hard it's just that um, you know this this uh, pandemic has stopped all of us so more strength and powers to the artists out there, especially in the reggae. And I hope I have a song called Hope and Praise. So this this one hopefully will, you know, guide people out of the the bondage they are in, you know, mentally and spiritually and physically. It's a, it's it's a song of hope and prayer. So. Sure. To all my fans, you know, as I, as I, um, I'm working hard now, so you you can see how I'm moving and and constantly releasing you know, new singles, 
and songs that are not just for the bling, uh, which, you know, I have a lot of commercial style songs mainstream, but right now my focus is to get the message out, um, like soul food, you know, and what I have in my mentality and my, my uh, wisdom, I would like to share the, the wisdom, you know, um, that I feel and I know that needs to go out because this is very important. Um, not many are talking the truth, you know, and I only, I'm only singing about the truth right now. Um, I have a couple projects coming, but um, my next one is going to be a tough song. A real authentic roots and reggae uh, culture tune called Shake It Off. Like, shake it off, you know? Shake it off. <laughs> you know, shake off all the bad energy, the negative vibes, you know? We don't deal with negative, only positive, you know? But in a tough, tough, tough spirit, you know? Like a tough gong. I and I a lion, you know? And the lion must roar right now because the times are dread. So I and I stay strong in these times, you know, because there's a lot of wicked things out there and evil things coming in this society. So we just keep focused and humble and strong, you know. So watch out for Shake It Off, because we're going to shake it off all the bad vibes and all the bad minded people. See? Yeah. Otherwise, you know, I'm going to have many um, different style, you know. Some nice Afro beats may be coming out soon. But basically, it's all roots and culture right now I'm focusing on. And some tough tunes, you know? Tough, real tough, strong tunes. And, you know, tough ones, ones with love and hope, you know, all kinds. You know, I'm almighty style. So I would cross over, I would do this, I'd do that. But my my main uh, style is the, the the roots and culture reggae music you know and it's that's my backbone but I, I will definitely do combination collaboration with many artists and you know I would do different styles in the future so must have gotta watch out for all my new projects because it's full of vibes and full of uh, energy you know not just it sounds good you know but when you really listen to it and, and focus into it many times you will hear my message that will be there for life. You know, it's not just a one day thing, one week, one month thing. This thing will help you if it helps you, you know. Um, that's why I try to keep my message strong and conscious so that it lasts. Because my music is quality. So look out for the quality music more than, you know what I mean? More than the, the hype, you know. Well, I want I want my people to be, you know, who are listening to my music to be, uh, you know, um, mentally, you know, get the mental energy, you know, the the spiritual and 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 get motivated, you know. And I hope my my music inspires people, you know, be awake in these times, you know. So I would like people to really check out for my my message. Big, big respect to uh, Donji for this opportunity and big up all the Jamaicans all around the world, all the reggae artists, musicians uh, all around the world, you know, especially the people who support me, all the DJs on the radio, all the promoters, you know, the people who, who make things happen and for entertainment especially, you know, big up Ja Mission for this uh, good link, you know, with the family. And um, yeah, big up um, all the people who are around me right now trying to support me. I got too many names, so, you know, it's all one love, peace, you know, and blessings, more blessings. Uh, you can find me on cjjofaris.com. That's my website. I have social media. I have I, um, 
IG, Instagram, CJ Joe Faris, uh, CJ Vibes in Japanese, um, Facebook, of course, you know, I have pages, but CJ Joe Faris, that would be the fastest to find me on any internet uh, channel. On YouTube, um, I have my channel, my Vivo is also there. Um, you know, just log into CJ Joe Faris and you'll find a lot of my social media on the internet. So that's where you can reach out to me. You know, I just just hope that everybody will be back in um, the music business and people will be, you know, able to go out and enjoy, you know, because without music, this world would be a mess. And because of music, we all can keep the balance and we need to keep protecting our freedom you know and as the world becomes more you know um, more strict and monetized and controlled you know we got to stand up for our rights you know and not just sit back in silence and let the world change the ways of, of, of destruction so yeah man keep your head up and be focused stay grounded and stay positive and always you know let love guide you and not the fear that is going on right now and my I and I job is to uplift and give the inspiration through the powers from the powers of the most high that I've learned um, this music, Jamaica, reggae music has taught me to become a better person. So um, that's my message. Um, music is powerful, reggae is powerful. You know, you don't know Big Up Al Yadi, Al Jamaican. I love and know every time, you know? Yes, I. So, Arigazaimas. Thank you very much for this time. And uh, I hope to see you again. Big up all the massive, yeah, one love, peace. I'm out. Number one means you're always on top. You're, 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 you're number one radio. You're, 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 you're on the number one. Number one. Number one. I revive 95 FM radio.